in the warned area should be prepared for hazardous conditions and plan accordingly. My name is Sarah Carpenter. I am the co-owner of the American Avalanche Institute and I also work as a ski guide here in the Tetons. And a really important mountain skill that translates really well to winter travel and avalanche hazard mitigation is map reading. So there's a few pieces of important information around the edge of the topo map which is worth knowing about. The first piece is the name of the map, in this case it's Rendezvous Peak. And I have a view of exactly where in the state of Wyoming it is. I also have information on what maps surround this map. So if I'm traveling a long distance I can figure out what other topo maps I need. Another really important piece is the scale of the map. In this case, it's 1 to 24,000, meaning one inch on this map is 24,000 inches in real life. The other piece of the puzzle that I want to know about is the contour interval. In this case, it's 40 feet. And that comes into play in determining slope angles of places I may want to ski. The last piece of the puzzle that's important for me is this little rose here. This tells me where true north is versus magnetic north. The top of a topographic map is always drawn for true north. So in order for me to determine which way this map needs to face, this is going to help me. So one of the first things I do when I am going to use a topographic map is I orient the map. Remember the top of the map is always drawn to north. So in order for me to figure out what direction this map should be facing, I grab my compass. And the red needle in my compass is always pointing to north. In this case, it's pointing to magnetic north, which is somewhere around Hudson Bay, rather than at the North Pole. In order to compensate for the difference between true north, or the North Pole, and magnetic north, I have a diagram on this topographic map that tells me the difference. In this case, the difference between magnetic north and true north is 14 degrees. What that tells me is my compass will be pointing 14 degrees off of true north. So I'm going to orient my map. The way I'm going to do that is I can tell my needle is pointed the exact opposite way my map is. I'm going to turn my map. I'm going to take the center of my compass, that little pivot spot, and I'm going to put it right on this center, this little apex of uh, our di diagram here. And I'm going to rotate this until my needle is pointing right along that magnetic north line. Or, in this case, I've got numbers around here, so until my needle's pointing to 14 degrees. At this point, my map is now oriented to the landscape around me.